And it's a set I keep a check. She was a man, man, never the last. Calling it this now, baby, I'm a wreck. Ooh, you wanna ride me like a cruise? Come on. And it's a that I keep on track. Come on, sing it with me. Mumble the words. <laughs> hey, y'all. Happy Thursday. I usually like going live on Fridays, but I will be traveling for a job. So I will be, I won't be available tomorrow to go live, but I, I wanted to, uh, so I wanted to move it up to Thursdays. Um, welcome, welcome to the live. <laughs> the thumbnail says it all. The title says it all. The intro song, every intro song has a purpose and a reason. The intro song says it all. Today we're going to be talking about uh, comfort movies, the movies that, uh, the lily bling me back, the lily bling me back. Okay. So, um, I have some announcements, but let's start off with the intro. Okay, 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 okay. I would like to start off this live stream by saying shout out to the Patreon cousins. This live stream, My Will to Live, is brought to you by the Patreon cousins. I'm um, just kidding. I have I have the will to live. But um, this live stream is brought to you by the Patreon cousins. Shout out to them. My Patreon is a shared account between me and my younger brother. Hashtag baby blow. Hashtag Esteban del Negrito. He has so many AKAs. Okay, and we go through them all. The link to the Patreon is in the video description box of this video. Um, it is pay what you want. Everybody gets the same stuff as of right now. We've been rocking and rolling. Um, Steve was just over here. Today's Thursday on Monday. And we shot. Four pieces of content. So, this is what we have going on. Episode one, episode two, episode three, episode four. In addition to some live streams, in addition to music, other content that's up on there. Um, so, those episodes are of This Might Not Make Sense, our exclusive Patreon podcast. So, join if the spirit so moves you. In other news... Speaking of live streams and speaking of movies and TV shows and things like such as, um, I don't know if any of y'all follow Halise. Hopefully you do. Um, but she recently announced that we will be having a live stream series on her Patreon. Um, if you are, if you've been waiting, be like, should I be on Halise's Patreon? Should I not? We're going to be talking, we're going to be live streaming and talking about Master of None season three, live every Monday, um, the lean away season, if you will. I have thoughts and I have feelings. Okay, so go ahead. The information for that is in the video description box of this video as well. Um, and if you are a Patreon, a patron cousin, Patreon cousin of me, Stay tuned. Maybe we can work something out. Maybe we could work. Ugh, maybe we can work something out. But if you want the live, if you want the live stream, go ahead and holler at Halisa's Patreon. Okay. Enough of that. Um, another announcement. I am in a new space, a location, a different location. So if the Wi-Fi be like this, just bear with me today. Just bear with me. Stick with me. On today, doing the best I can. I'm not a gamer. I don't have an Ethernet cont. I don't have, you know, 
the best internet, but I'm working with what I got. So that's my last <laughs> announcement. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, pas Passionate for God. Wow. You are wow. That is literally above and beyond. And you are a Patreon cousin. I know that much. I know that much. Okay. <sighs> so, <laughs> so I actually asked y'all, and I just want y'all to know that I redid my hair and I left my whole edge out. So if you see, <laughs> so when I turn to look at the chat on my computer, it's a whole edge. Don't worry about it. Matter of fact, worry about yourself. Okay? Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully. Okay. Let's get this thing started. So I actually asked y'all on my YouTube community tab, what did y'all want to chat about? What did y'all want to talk about on today? And really what stuck out to me were these few things, okay? This is how we arrived at where we are today. Internet cousin Kyra said, can we get a happy story? Like, what the world needs now is love. Sweet. Who? Internet cousin Bria said, I don't know, but something happy. That much she do know. Internet cousin Ola Bimpe said, favorite shows and movies. And internet cousin Alice, Alice? said, I want more movie and show reviews from you. Your wish is my what? Command. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I think I'm done looking at my thing here. I've said all the things. Now I'm looking at the chat. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about comfort movies. What's a comfort movie? A comfort movie is that movie or TV show, if you're talking about shows, it's that thing that you watch over and over again on loop. You know all the words. You you never get tired of it. You know all the songs. You know all the characters. You can say it by heart to the point that you just cut it on, not to be paying attention to it, but but as a lullaby, as a lullaby of sorts. So gently soothing you and rocking you to sleep, to a place of happiness, to a place of, I know it's uh, going to be all right. <laughs> um, yes, sincerely, Jean. It keeps you company. Okay? So we're talking about comfort movies. These are the things that you, when, who can you turn to these? The world, unstable. These, solid as a rock, okay? Solid as a rock. I'ma share some of mine, just some. I have several, but as the uh, thumbnail suggested, I have four main ones. Okay, and they all, when I thought about it, they all kind of said something about me and what I need in these trying times. Let's get into it. In no particular order, Jesus. In no particular order. These are movies. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Cinematic genius. Diana, you're not late. We just started. We just started. Wet will come. Wet will come. Ratatouille. I can't even lie. Is it? Is it Disney? Pixar? What is it? Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. Ratatouille. Oh, God. Ratatouille. I Googled something else. Ratatouille. 
Pixar. Pixar got me. Okay, Ratat- I have watched Ratatouille seven, seven million times, approximately. Approximately. That movie... Oh, give me a moment. It made me comfortable. <laughs> Listen, the idea of watching a movie about a rat, about a mouse, about blah, 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 about things that go blah, blah, blah. The fact that they got me to watch a movie about that speaks volumes. It speaks to the power of the message. It speaks to the... Uh, to the story, to the acting, voice acting, if you will, to the emotions. You know, animation gets you with the emotions. Because when they get sad, their eyes go like that, right? (laughs) Ho! Ho! You hit the nail on the head. Ratatouille, first of all, heathens, hear my what's. Ratatouille is the dish. Remy is the mouse, is the rat, okay? Remy. Put some respect on his name. It's Remy. His name, not Ratatouille. He made Ratatouille. Don't, don't make me get buck over animation, but I will. Put some respect on Remy's name. (laughs) Remy gang gang, ratatata. Don't even play with me. Don't even play with me. Remy had a certain je ne sais quoi, right? And that made him what? An outsider, right? Didn't nobody get him. His dad didn't support him and his tastesses, okay? His brother, Emilio, Emil, (laughs) his brother supported him, didn't understand him, right? But he said, I don't know what you're too much doing, but go ahead, do that. Dad's going to be mad, though, that you're out here eating fresh food. Talking about, can you taste, can you taste the je ne sais quoi? What is je ne sais quoi? We're from Boston. <laughs> uh-uh, let me tell y'all one thing we're not going to do. Hold on, let me find this. <laughs> I'm spoiling everything. If it's old, it's old. <laughs> Everything's a spoiler. Okay? If you haven't watched it yet, that had to, that was 10 years ago. That was over 10 years ago. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, Remy... Remy was a black sheep. Yes. Flustered underscore potato. Remy repping for all the black sheeps in the family. He said, I gotta go my own way. Right? And the family, you know, family try to guilt you. What about us? What about everything we've been through? Finish it. What about trust? That's another comfort movie. High school musical. <laughs> That's another one. That just see you see how that was just in my spirit? That's how you know it's a comfort movie. Have I seen the musical for Ratatouille? Uh, do you mean the one that was like during the panorama with Titus Burgess? If there's another one, let me know. But if you're talking about that one, I have seen that one, paid money for it, washed it on my computadora. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. The musical killed. Killed it. (laughs) 
<laughs> As someone who has seen many a bootleg in my day, you really have to, it takes you kind of out of the experience. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> I feel this. I am not me. I am made up of comfort movie slash TV quotes. That's so true. So yeah, so Remy realizes he realizes he has this thing within him. This this taste for the finer things in life, if you will. And it what it alienates him from those who are similar to him. Not only that, he wants to enter an industry full of people who actively try to kill him and people like him. I'm gonna be where the people are. And his dad is like, why you wanna be where the people are? All the people do is pop, pop, pop. All the people do is scream and run away. So come get this good garbage and let's be on our merry way. And Remy said, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna follow my dreams. I'm gonna follow my passion and my heart and my heart and my passion. Now, <laughs> I don't know why I'm going through the whole movie. Um, couple that with, right? Tell me why I don't know this man's name. Tell me why. Linguini, duh. <laughs> duh. Coupled with Linguini, who is his story is coming into who he really is. Right? They join forces, can't be stopped. It's some, you know, it's some struggles. It's some struggles. <laughs> Not me saying Luigi. It gets the better of us. It gets the best of us. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Oh no, am I frozen? Okay. The moment where he combines cheese and fruit and the fireworks go off. Yes. It's a lifestyle. He trying to change, Remy trying to change his lifestyle. Anyways. <laughs> I love ratatouille. It gets me every time. It's the perfect mix. And this is what animation does so well. It's the perfect push and pull of... What is it? The perfect push and pull of like, oh no, things are going to go wrong. Whew, you got out of it. Oh no. Here's another task. Here's another challenge. Phew. Barely made it. Oh no. <laughs> Just when you thought. And then you're like, whoo. Keeps you on the edge of your seat, but in a comforting way. <laughs> Ratatouille is so good. It's so good. You have to learn to walk together. Even though you are different, you walk together. <laughs> Ratatouille. I never get rid of it. I never get tired of it. If you ever catch me watching Ratatouille, it's okay to, for you to ask what's wrong. I'm just saying. If I'm watching Ratatouille, I'm trying to recalibrate. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get back to the root of me. I've lost my way and I'm trying to get back. Ratatouille. Thank you. Number two, again, no particular order. Let's talk about it. Princess and the Frog. 
Princess and the Frog came out when I was, I mean, all the, right, I was a teenager, so I wasn't like tapped in to what Disney was doing. Princess and the Frog. Oh, I was in college. Yes, I remember this. 2009, Princess and the Frog. Came out when I was in college. I remember there was a screening in the student union and I went, right? I was like, let's see what it's talking about. I will say in the beginning, can y'all hear that playing? Wow. In the beginning, I wasn't a super duper fan. I thought it was cute. I thought it was, I thought it was okay. It didn't, it didn't transcend, you know what I'm saying? It didn't dive into my comfort. It didn't dive into comfort movie status for years and years and years and years and years, right? And I was part of that whole group of people that was like, yeah, it's cute, but how come uh, she a frog for most of it? Hmm? Why come? Princess and the frog, not princess frog. <laughs> in in the beninging <laughs> in the beninging you already know i can't quit it i can't quit it it has a hold on me it has a hold on me So in the beginning, I was like, I mean, why she a frog? Why she a frog the whole time? Almost the whole time. But as time went on, <laughs> and her prince was broke. <laughs> and the prince was broke. I was like, that is not speaking prosperity. That's not speaking prosperity. <laughs> but over time, watching it and watching it again and watching it again and watching it again, I realized something. I said, oh no, this is beautiful. I love this movie. When I tell you I cut on that movie, at the drop of a hat. If I'm pissed that I have to do dishes, I said, you know what's going to get me through? Princess and the Frog. And I'm almost there. Woo! Almost there. Ho! Ho! People coming round from everywhere. I'm almost there. There. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I realized that I actually, in actuality, love the movie. I love the movie. Let me get my names right. Let me get my names right. Anika Noni Rose. Wow. 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 Keith David, right? Is that who was the, uh, yes, Keith David. On the other side, I listened to On the Other Side as an actual song, like in my car driving. I tell Siri to cut on Spotify and play On the Other Side. He said, I got voodoo, I got hoodoo, I got things I ain't even tried. And I got friends on the other side. Wow. Wow. You're in my world now, not your world. Mm. And I got friends on the other side. Ooh, he's got. Come on, Ooga Booga. 
Come on, Booga Booga. He's got friends on the other side. Period. Keith David, period. Such a good song. Such a good song. I also loved about... um. <laughs> I also love villains. Uh, I also love villains in all movies, except in Aladdin. That, to this day, I'm scared of Jafar. But everything else, every other villain, I'm cool with. <laughs> every other villain, I'm cool with. That's why I liked him. Because behind every villain is a wounded. is a wounded person. Usually villains are outcasts. And when you out when you cast somebody out, what they do? Act up. They act up. It's one of my favorite it's one of my favorite songs. How about that? How about that? Okay. I gotta finish. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I gotta finish, but where did it go? We're gonna come back to this. This this right here, we're gonna come back to that. Remind me. Remind me. So anyways, yeah, Princess and the Frog. Turns out that I love it. Granted, I grew up in Lafayette, Louisiana, so when they go to the swamp, when they go to the bayou, I'm like, oh, it's all coming back to me. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. And what I love about Prince, Princess and the Frog is not a character is wasted. Everyone, every single person is striving for something. You trying to, you trying to play in a jazz band, but people don't too much want you. You know what I'm saying? You trying to, um... <laughs> You trying to talk to your boo thing, you realize she a star. First of all, can I tell you, Evangeline, that's her name? Evangeline. <laughs> when I tell you, every time I cry, every time I cry, Oh, every time I cry, who, who knew that a lightning bug, <laughs> that a lightning bug talking to a star could make me openly weep? I can't stand Disney. I can't, I can't stand, I can't stand them. Princess and the Frog. Love it. I cut it on whenever things get rough. Evangeline, Evangeline. Okay, let's move on. Anything else I got to say about Princess and the Frog? Oh, let me tell y'all a story. So I went to Disney for my 29th birthday. Was it my 29th birthday? And, you know, we at the parade, not the parade, like the, like the performance concert thing at um, Cinderella's Castle, like the the Disney castle, when you wish upon a... Anyway, so we're standing by um, this man, this black man and his little chocolate baby. It's just him and his baby girl. And I, this girl had to have been like, you know how people be like 19 months, right? She's so young, she, her age is still months. 
And um, when Tiana, when Princess Tiana come out, oh, her whole face changed and she looked at us. She was like, do y'all see? Do y'all see Princess Tiana? And I was like, yes, baby girl, I see her. And I see you. And I see you. Who? Oh, I hope she's okay, wherever that baby girl is. <laughs> Case Galore said a black princess shouldn't be doing dishes. And that's on, period. That's on, period. Oh, and then, oh, and then when the, uh, the guys who were going to give her the loan for the restaurant were like, oh, that would be too much restaurant for a woman of your background. For a woman of my what? Rat ta ta ta. Tiana about Tiana about them goals. Okay. Sorry, you saw me getting mad. I was thinking about <laughs> I was thinking about what I would do if I ever see them in the streets. Then I had to remind myself they're animated. So I'm not going I'm not going to see them in the streets. Let's move on. I also love how Tiana was so uh, family oriented. Why is it not showing up? Okay. <laughs> so family oriented. Father played by Terrence Howard, I believe. The most normal Terrence Howard has ever sounded. <laughs> um, yeah. Rudy, I was rooting for her. We're all rooting for her. I also really appreciated, and this is the last thing I'm going to say, I also really appreciated, like, yes, there is a power dynamic between um, the white girl because, the white girl and Tiana because, like, Tiana's mom was, like, her seamstress. So it's like a, it's a weird power dynamic, but I loved how the princess ne was never a hater. At no point was she a hater. Why is it blurry? It's not blurry for me. It's my Wi-Fi that's making, that's not rendering. That's not rendering it. I apologize. We ain't, we ain't got nothing else. Definitely, definitely a woman child, but most importantly, not a hater. We're not, we're not in competition. Okay. Cause she's so selfish <laughs> that she's not in competition. But when she said, here's the dress, strap in. I got a million dresses. Here's the dress. Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> I love how we keep receipts. I love how we keep in receipts on fictional characters. You're right. <laughs> oh, okay, Princess and the Frog. Next. Where do I want to go with this one? Okay. <laughs> An ignorant bestie. Okay, let's move on. Talked about Ratatouille. Talked about Princess and the Frog. We're coming back to Prince of Egypt after I finish my two little things. We're going to be here for more than an hour. Um, just being honest. Number three, Legally Blonde. You can fight me if you want. But I'm not wrong. Legally Blonde is one of my comfort movies. Let's freaking go. Let's talk about it. Legally Blonde is one of those movies from the day it came out, from when I first watched it, I knew. I knew. 
you know, you just watch a movie and you're like, oh, we've got a winner. 10 out of 10. It's giving me everything that I need in a comfort movie. In a comfort movie. Come on, Elle Woods. And you want to know why I like Legally Blonde. First of all, I can't believe I started talking without singing a little something something. What is it? Sun's out. Is that what it says? A little after 12. Make breakfast for myself. <laughs> People say, they tell me it's just a phase. They tell me to act my age. Well, I am. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I love Legally Blonde. It might be the perfect movie. It might be the perfect movie. Now, here's the thing. I love it when people take characters, when people take tropes and give them a little something more, right? Similar to Charlotte in Princess and the Frog. <laughs> Elle Woods. <laughs> Elle Woods, um, isn't the mean girl, right? She's not the mean girl. It could be very easy to make her the mean girl, but instead they do something interesting. She's the underdog. How about that? The rich, first of all, she's not the only rich one, right? <laughs> the rich, Caucasian, <laughs> blonde, beautiful woman is actually the underdog. And they do such a good job of letting her be the underdog <laughs> and making you root for her. <laughs> Come on, subversion. The fact that Elle Woods in that court case, that the person that she was supposed to be defending only trusted her because she was real. She was authentic. She stood in her truth of who she is. She's not trying to be nobody else. I can't be these Harvard hoes. Okay, I'm not giving you Jackie Kennedy. I'm just not. Ooh, y'all mad mad. <laughs> Shout out to Bruiser Woods forever. So yeah, Legally Blonde. Um, and I love that it showed, the reason I love it is because it showed that it was actually <laughs> It was actually her knowledge from her world, right? The world that's superficial, uh, interested in looks and the outside, you know. It was actually her knowledge of that that led her to win the court case. She said, hold up, you, you said you had a perm? But she was in the shower? I object. Impossible. Wasn't it? <laughs> <sighs> sorry, I've been silent too long. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bye, Gabs. Thanks for coming. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. Bend and snap has worked. I've never tried it, but I trust you. But I trust you. <laughs> Yeah. I don't even I lost my <laughs> I lost my place. Legally blonde. I love it. Cut it on. If I ever, ooh, this is something that doesn't happen in 2021. But if I'm ever like in a hotel or like if I'm ever at like my parents' house or somebody who got cable and legally blonde just magically is on. I'm like, the gods have smiled down upon me. Wow. What did I do to deserve such serendipitous <laughs> good fortune? Absolutely. Can we talk about it? Uh, I also like that they didn't try to redeem Warren's character or make him super nasty. It was about L. Finding herself. Yeah, kick him to the curb. Don't come back. At first, you know, she felt like she needed to be validated. Like, why doesn't he love me? Even though I do all these things and I'm the girl he wants me to be. Uh, it's because he ain't shit. L, it's because he ain't shit. Luke Wilson. Is the one for you. Oh, wow. I did not know that. We love a gay agenda. Also, prayers going up for Selma Blair. I believe she has cancer and she, um, you know, I think she's she has a documentary or a show or something coming out kind of documenting her life. Was it cancer? Was it like MS? I don't remember. But anyway, I also love Selma Blair. Period. MS. Okay. Yeah. But we stand Selma Blair. We stand. Also, speaking of standing Selma Blair, I love the fact that she came around. We love a redemption story. That's the thing. We love an underdog, and we also love a redemption story. We love the fact that when a character knows better, they do better. We love it. And we love that the reason that Summer Blair's character came around is because Reese <laughs> is because Reese Witherspoon, because Elle Woods, rather, <laughs> because Elle Woods didn't try to, it wasn't a round. Summer was coming with the round. Elle Woods was like, okay, well, I support you. Even though you're spreading horrible rumors about me, you don't even know the full story. And some of Blair's character felt bad. And what do you do when you feel bad? You don't double down. You come around. You ask for forgiveness. Okay, that's it, Legally Blonde. And finally, and then I'm, we're gonna talk about y'all's movies. And then finally, Spider-Man into the goddamn Spider-Verse. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. That, that movie. And it doesn't say I keep my age. Never the guy in it gets no baby on my Ooh. 
Wow. What a movie. What a movie. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Again, an underdog. And we'll, we'll circle back and talk about what all these say about me. We have an underdog who has a, a purpose that they need to what? Step into. But they're what? Unsure. <laughs> they're unsure. I love that. I like when movies um, include culture without making it corny. Right? Like, he's black. He's Latino. You know what I'm saying? He's Afro-Latino, but it's not giving you annoying. It's not giving you pandering. He's just a boy in New York. So most boys kind of look like him. You know what I mean? He's just living his life. Oh, great soundtrack. When I tell you I cut on the soundtrack, similar to Princess and the Frog, I cut on the soundtrack as an album, as an album alone. Who went here trying to start a riot? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So good. So, so good. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Oh, Miles always reminds me of my little brother, so it had me all teary. Who? Miles Morales. Okay, so back. I'm back. <laughs> Spider Man into the Spider Verse. I don't want to spoil, it's not spoiling it, it's an old movie. <laughs> Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse came out in, come on Google, Spider-Man Into, 2018. You've had plenty of time, you have had plenty of time. The animation itself, as an art form, exquisite. Exquisite. Be it was beautiful. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Can we do a deep dive on the uncle? Like he low key was a good guy, just got caught up in a sis. Thank you, Lissandra. Absolutely. Within a within a family, right? Right? It's it's within a family you have, you know, you got a cop. Whoop, whoop. You got a person on the other side of that. You got Miles. You got dimensions. <laughs> you got dimensions. The coming together of all the different Spider-Mans. Great. The converging of universes. And, and Miles' struggle to believe in himself. <laughs> Yes, it had actual stakes. The world as we know it will collapse onto itself. And you might have to take out your own uncle. How about that? Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Never get tired of it. Never get tired of it.
Let me see if I had any other notes about Spider-Man. Oh, and we stand um, Jake Johnson as the other Spider-Man who let himself go, right? But through mentorship, right? He didn't have to be perfect, amen, to be a mentor because he grew as Miles grew. Oh, shut up, Osa. That movie. That freaking movie. <laughs> anyway, Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. I love it. There's nothing wrong with it. If you think there is, that's okay. It's okay to be wrong <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nothing's above critique, but I ain't got no critiques. Boop. How about that? So now, now that I've talked about my four, is it four? Now that I've talked about my four comfort movies, this is what it says about me. Every single one of those movies is about an underdog. <laughs> they are all about, come started from the bottom, now we're here. Now everyone's bottom is different. You can't tell me Tiana and Elle Woods are starting from the same bottom, but they're all overcoming perceptions <laughs> of them, right? In what society? Remy is a rat. He's literally, <laughs> he's literally a rat in a human's world. Elle Woods, dumb blonde, trying to go to Harvard Law School. Um, where we at? Tiana, black girl, working class, trying to put it all on her back. Ain't got time for love. Her friends try to make her go out. She said, like, I ain't got time to go out. I got dreams. Who else? <laughs> Miles Morales, a teen, a kid, tasked with saving the world. They have to overcome people's perception of them, but also their own perception of themselves. How about that? They had to feel what good enough. Who? And once they did, with help from other people, encouragement from other people, sky's the freaking limit. How about that? Sky's the limit. And those are the things. That bring me comfort. That's what those movies say about me. <laughs> now let's get into y'all's comfort movies. Um, while I do that, hold on, I need to take a drink of water. Um, here go a little Patreon. Uh, <laughs> here go a little Patreon ad, and then we'll get we'll get back. This might not make sense. I don't think that there's a lot of usable meat on us. I think that's the thing. Ooh, baby, do you know that? <laughs> I'm a mom, and that means I have to feed my kids. That's 1-800-BAD-POOP. Don't call me, go and hit the main line like Do you think bugs wait for their kids to get home? Oh, you want some no-no ice cream? <laughs> Life is a journey. <laughs> Make what a burger appear when I think about it here. You That's can do that. Then, I'll think, then I'll think about your little Mars. <laughs> your little Mars. This might not make sense. Yes. Yes, patreon.com slash from the internets. 
Link is in the video description box if the spirit so moves you. If it don't, it's okay. You're here. Okay, <clears throat> let's get into y'all's comfort movies. Let's get into it. What the chat's saying? What the streets is saying? What the streets saying? Wow, so diverse. Every <laughs> so diverse. Lion King. Wow. <laughs> wow. Why was Scar British? We'll never know. We'll never know. Oh, dang. Home Alone. I would say... It's for me, it's not a comfort movie because I, for me, it's a seasonal movie. When it is Christmas time, I do want to watch Jim Carrey's The Grinch and I want to watch Home Alone. You're right, you're right, you're absolutely right. I saw what did I saw? <laughs> hey, quiet as it's kept, quiet as it's kept. I that's not a lie. <laughs> There's a very interesting, was it an Instagram post or a video essay about how in the olden days, um, queer people, like char queer characters weren't allowed to exist. So people coded them as the villain. Think about it. Go back and rewatch everything. Go back and rewatch everything. Okay. I got to get into Moana. I feel like Baby Harper, um, y'all may know Baby Harper. Harper loves Moana. Harper also loves Spider-Man. So get into it. Um, I haven't really gotten into Moana. I got to give it. I'm still in Lilo and Stitch, you know what I'm saying? That's where I, I'm, I have to embrace the new. I have to embrace the new. I gotta give that another watch. <laughs> oh, y'all got so, oh. Yeah, oh wow. Wow. Okay, I promised that I would circle back and talk about the Prince of Egypt. <laughs> okay? Okay? <laughs> I can't even I don't even know where to start. The soundtrack alone. The songs. You don't even you don't even need to know, you know, you don't even have to have read any sort of religious text. It don't too much matter. Just look at your life. Look at your life through heaven's eyes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on. Come on. Besides being beautiful, beautifully animated just just besides being visually stunning the music itself delicious lush oh, river oh river come on come on prayer flow gently for me come on sing it with me such precious cargo, you bear. <laughs> oh man, Moses. Moses, who thought that a movie about Moses would hit in the fashion that Prince of Egypt hits? <laughs> Such precious car <laughs> cargo you bear. I don't know what it's called. Uh, I don't want to get it wrong. 
but that uh, <laughs> that people be doing. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, absolutely. Any animated film where a scene still scares you to this day is good. <laughs> I'm still scared of Jafar. Mm hmm. No, not riffs and runs, because that's English. There's like a, there's a, it's a culture, it's a cultural term. It's not in English. It's not on Disney Plus. That's a, that's a crime. It's on Netflix. Ulating, nope. I don't know the name of it, but okay, <laughs> moving on. Prince of Egypt, fire, no complaints. Gorgeous. What else y'all talking about? So many things I got to go back and watch. <laughs> the Parent Trap. Monster Zinc. Come on. Yo, the quest for Camelot. Somebody else said this before also. That's somewhere in, that's some. That's a locked memory somewhere. I gotta unlock it. I gotta unlock it. I remember watching it. I remember getting it from Blockbuster. <laughs> I remember getting it from Blockbuster for um, Pizza Fridays. <laughs> Anastasia, Sium. Anast that that's in the realm of like classic, I believe. Oh, Cheetah Girls! Yeah, I don't know nothing about no Cheetah Girls. Yeah, I don't know about no Cheetah Girls. I had a cheetah phase. Um, I had cheetah bed sheets in my youth. Um, any pattern, you know, the fuzzy hats, they're coming back, right? They're coming back. The fuzzy bucket hats had one of those little, the little, oops, sorry, little mini baby backpacks. Had one of those. Cause we are sisters. <laughs> Come on, comfort movies. <laughs> and I ain't nothing to run Sitting in a dark old dusty cell Waiting for somebody To come set me free I don't wanna be like someone Waiting for a handsome prince To come and save me uh. <laughs> I got somebody on the side no one I young known. <laughs> I'd rather rescue myself. Come on. I know, I know the people. I know people gonna have something to say about Raven Simone, Simone. Um, but she's unmatched. She's just the girls weren't no girls were doing what she was doing, literally. She is a legend. You know, she she go she be going through her own stuff. And it's up to you to make a personal decision whether you will love someone through it or leave them where you found them. You know what I'm saying? And for me, Raven is just goaded. <laughs> Brandy Cinderella. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> 
I can slay. This is just a sing along. My own jacket. I can dream my own dreams. <laughs> uh, hold on. A lot of y'all said Brandy's uh, Cinderella. I'm trying to pin a comment. <laughs> but yeah, one of my, you know, one of my favorite Leos, Whitney Houston, rest in peace. Um, impossible. Things are happening. Every. Impossible. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Even Raven can't ruin Raven. I'm loving it. I want to hear from the people. Uh, I want to hear from the people whose comfort movies aren't uh, comedy, aren't romantic comedy, and aren't for children. I want to hear from y'all. I want to hear from y'all. <laughs> I saw Onyx Pages say that um, sci-fi. Give it to me. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are y'all's comfort movies? The Dark Knight. You're not wrong. I would have to say I agree with you. Good stuff. Where you at? Where, ooh, it's, it's moving. This chat is moving. <laughs> Yo, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. That is giving cerebral. It's giving... Uh, Wow, it's giving medulla oblongata. <laughs> it's giving medulla oblongata. Uh, it's giving amygdala. I don't know all the parts of the brain. Did y'all watch? It's not about that. Never mind. Let's move on. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Fair, very fair. Everything's moving so fast. Crooklyn. I'm seeing lots of Crooklyn. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hold on. That's a com that's comfort. Wow. That's comfort. Alfrey Woodard comfort. <laughs> Ooh, y'all going, y'all going. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Fifth Element. Wow. Ooh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Bridget Jones Diary. That's technically romantic comedy. I want the I want the deep cuts. Not deep cuts, but I want the ones that are like, that's your comfort movie? That's what I want. Yo, hold on. Stop it. Period. Period. Crouching tiger flying daggers. You want to talk about beauty, artistry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to lose things. That's why I'm losing steam when I talk. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pajama Girl 123, Jackson 5, An American Dream, The Temptations. What's love got to do with it? Basically, all of those biopic is it biopic biopic movies on uh, i wish they still made those they do be making those but we don't be co-signing who they cast that's the difference <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat memoirs of a geisha house of flying daggers wow y'all are cultured 
Listen, can I let y'all know something? Jackie Chan is actually one of my heroes. <laughs> He's actually goaded, um, period. Uh, wow. I stand. <laughs> y'all stupid, y'all stupid. Charlie's Angels. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Turn his back on the people, them. On the people, them. Ugh. Jackie, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Chan. Oh, okay. Oh, this grabbed me. This grabbed me. Wow. Mm. That's a different kind of comfort. Interesting. All my comforts was a uh, was animations and giving you silliness. Coming to America, Black Panther, I would say, but I I would say I would say that's a comfort movie for sure. When she was like, Pfft. and Danny Kaluuya was like, my idea. <laughs> I don't know the line. I don't know the line. <laughs> when he was like, would you really kill me? And she was like, without question. <laughs> without question. And I said, okay. I'm not, I'm not loyal to my country in that way. In that fashion, but I, <laughs> but I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, the passion. You first, you first. Comfort, comfort movies for when the world gets you down. Yo, Kill Bill, first of all, thank you for the super chat. Kill Bill. Kill Bill hits the spot sometimes. Sometimes you'd be like, is that the spot? But like, it is. <laughs> Vivica A. Fox, wow. Um... With that question. Oh, wow. So much, so much. But we got Best Man. We got Man of Steel. Oh, you're not lying. You're right. You're actually right. It hit a spot. <laughs> it really did hit a spot. I wonder why these movies be hitting a spot. Brown Sugar, The Wood. Come on, somebody said Best Man. Deliver Us From Eva. When I say that, I watched that on DVD. That's a beauty shop. That's a go to the hair braider and that's what's on. That is what's on. <laughs> Mahisha, hopefully I said that correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Thanks for the super chat. Yours are a crybaby, super bad, Ratatouille, queen of the damned. Oh, wow. 
Fifth Element, any Tim Burton in the first Spider-Man movies. That's comfort. Thank you for the super chat. Eve's Bayou, comfort. Oh, comfort. Yo, okay, interesting. For me, Moonlight isn't comfort because it rips me to shreds. So it's not comfort. Moonlight was one of those movies, like I watched it in the theater and then I was like, perfect. And tuck it away. Tuck it away. Not ready. Y'all want to know, um, me and Trevante Rhodes went to the same university. Then we have hella Facebook friends in common. It's okay, though. He could have been my husband. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. God has a plan. <laughs> For me, Moonlight is like if I want to weep, but it's not a comfort movie. <laughs> wow the whiz beauty shop early x-men movies okay <laughs> Oh, Across the Universe. I haven't watched it, but I heard of it. You know what I'm saying? It didn't, you know, grab me. But that's okay, though. We had twenty. We had 25% battery. Just letting y'all know. We're going to keep it to movies because we don't got time to go into the TV shows. <laughs> Yo, Cool Runnings. That's an underdog. That's an underdog story for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got our screen time. Our screen time is looking hefty. All these movies. Yo, unpopular opinion. I couldn't watch In the Heights. <laughs> I couldn't get through it. I tried twice. Couldn't get through it. Maybe I got to give it another chance. I will always give things a chance. Eventually. But for me, it was giving a little bit of corn. <laughs> it was a little on the corner side. And for me, what's kind of frustrating about the incorporation, if you will, of hip hop into musicals is that hip hop is already a musical. So to make it even more musically is like, hmm, did you need to do that? Cause hip hop already rhymes. It already rhymes. So it could just be a music video. It doesn't need to be But I need to give another shot. <laughs> it's corn and cheese, and I love it. Hey, and if that that that's a comfort movie, uh, Legally Blonde is giving cheese, and I think it's goaded. So. <laughs> 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 
Interesting, interesting. Thanks for the super chat. For me, the movies that make me cry do comfort me because I get a cathartic experience and feel better. So with that being said, for colored girls, whoa, that's catharsis for sure. That's catharsis for sure. <laughs> Yo, memory unlocked. Chicken Little. That was good. Chicken Little was good. That's comfort. <gasps> Queen of Cutway. Oh, didn't she pass away? Oh, no. Didn't she? Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Did I make that up? I hope I didn't. What y'all talking about? Oh no, where am I? Where am I? Where am I at? Where am I at? How do I slow these down? Please give me suggestions. Ah. Oh. Oh. Bend it like back on. <laughs> Jumanji, yo. Jumanji was everything. Because here's the thing about comfort movies. They either, for me, show that you can rise above, which means there has to be a struggle. First of all, there is no such thing as a movie with no conflict. That's not a story. Um, you know what I'm saying? Read the hero's journey, if you will. Conflict makes a good story. So for me, it's like, underdog rising above realizing it's within them this whole time you know it was always you and then you go for the gold for some people like we just saw um it's about um a cathartic release like it's sad it's sad sad but it makes you f tap into your emotions maybe you're feeling emotionally blocked okay <laughs> and then for other people it's just stupid yo hold on hold on hold on sorry 17 again with Tia Tamara Maori the dude that played the dude <laughs> he was beautiful he was so fine he was so fine Mm, some people need a cozy atmosphere. Hence the home alone, right? <laughs> oh, don't tell me he look good to this day. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me he look good to this day. <laughs> oh, 
y'all are so like y'all are so culture. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get out of here in about five minutes. I'm going to get out of here in about five minutes. You've been talking about comfort movies. And all my comfort movies are pretty... Like, I know I said they're old, but they're, like, new <laughs> in terms of movies. When I call a movie old or when, it, when I call a TV show old, it has exited the, like, news cycle. Right? It's not in the theater. It's not. Everyone's done with all their interviews. You know what I mean? But mine are pretty, like, they're not old school movies in the slightest. The oldest one is the oldest one, Legally Blunt. The oldest one is Legally Blunt. So, I'm a modern girl. Ooh, this Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, the Polar Express. <laughs> the Polar Express. Hold on, wait. I gotta cut it on. I gotta cut it on. <laughs> you ready to sing? You'll have everything you need if you just believe. Come on. Okay, 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 you back, you back. Matilda, I can't read this. Matilda, Home Alone needed child protective services. He did. Y'all gonna be mad at me? I don't too much, I haven't too much watched Matilda. <laughs> uh, Princess Diaries, yes. Hello, Jose Rodriguez. Hi, we meet again. It's fair. It's fair to be disappointed at me. It's fair. It's like I know what y'all are talking about. Um, but like I can see it in my mind's eye. I know, you know, every everything that's going on, but um <laughs> I don't know. Should I watch Matilda tonight? If I watch Matilda tonight, I'm going to give you the play-by-play -play on Instagram stories. So follow me on Instagram. That's if I get around to watching it. You know, I got my, my shows that's on the uh, roster. All right, y'all. It's been a pleasure. It's been really real. Thanks for rocking with me. Hopefully, hand, hand, I'm not finna be on no Twitter. I'm not finna be on no Twitter. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope y'all have a great afternoon, a great Friday, a great weekend. Uh, and I will see y'all next week. Remember that I will announce the time that I plan to go live the day and the time on my YouTube community tab. So that's where I talked about it. That's where I got the idea for this live stream. Y'all are the ones that commented under that post and gave me the idea. So um, we have lots of movie suggestions in the live chat and the chat will stay up. So thank you so much for watching. Welcome to those of you watching the replay and I will see y'all next time. Bye.